Mr. Mad up in this bitch. Coming at you. Bring got it. That a motherfucker. So, today, I'm going to try to make this a quick video because I got some pig shots smoking in my backyard. If you don't know what that is, look the shit up. Basically, it's uh, bacon wrapped around some uh, kielbasa sausage with some cream cheese, some jalapeno. I put serrano because I like, you know, spicy shit. Uh, then you put another layer of sausage, another layer of cream cheese, another layer of serrano peppers or jalapeno. You, you, you coat it in whatever rub you like. Uh, you mix the cream cheese with whatever rub you like. So I use some Jack Daniels pork rub as well as hand cannon honey habanero rub. And then you coat the outside as well. You smoke them 350. You run that bitch for about 45 minutes or so. I got about five minutes left on the cook. Four minutes left. Um, let's get into this shit. This is coffee gadgets. I bought a bunch of them. Man, it didn't work. So, um, this is gonna be my new niche obsession, niche obsession, for the next month or so because, come on, I, I ain't, I ain't uh, you know, like I get into one thing. I'm like, I'm like uh, the homeboy, uh, eight time Miranda. I get into something real heavy for like a month and then it's like, I don't give a fuck anymore. But, uh, I'm now 41 years old. So I have a, um, what do you call it? Uh, you know, like I sleep a lot now because it's tired, man. Like, you know, I work a lot. So even though I was on vacation for about six days in Puerto Rico, um, if you want to see any footage of that, uh, I, I, I'm trying to compile like a big ass video of all the little videos that I've take, took alongside with some pictures that I took with some little narration, voiceover things, a lot of editing. I want to do it. If y'all want to see it, um, I'll do it. If not, it's whatever. I'm probably still gonna do it regardless just cause I started it up, so. Um, but yeah, I've got coffee gadgets here. So we got the Mini Presso GR, which is for ground coffee. Uh, and basically all of these do is create a shot of espresso from like, you know, maybe a few grams of, uh, of uh, eight grams of, of coffee. So I, I bought the AeroPress, you know, you press coffee, I don't know if you've seen it, whatever. I bought my own little grinder, I bought some little specialty beans that have the roasts, roasted on date. That's how you know you got good coffee apparently. I don't know, I'm, just, I'm trying to get into coffee because I'm always sleepy and the only thing I was drinking back in the day, right now, still to this day, to this day, was um, Nescafe freeze-dried crystals, but apparently fresh coffee is good, I don't know. I know nothing about coffee. Uh, I just barely started looking this shit up, and I just kind of want to get into this shit. Just like, and I don't want to get into it, but it's like, I need the energy, man. I'm, I'm sleepy. Uh, I don't know how to open this. And the time is ticking, ticking by. Here we go. So I'm gonna use this thing. I don't know, I don't have my blade or anything. Lard. All right. So, but yeah, uh, I just wanted to see what, you know, good coffee tastes like, because to me, coffee always tastes like cigarette water, you know, it, regardless of what it, you know, supposedly good. Like I've had like supposedly good coffee. Like, why can't I open this? And it, it all tastes terrible to me, so I don't know, man. Like I, I thought maybe if I, grind my own, you know, beans or whatever, you know, something will be better or something, I don't know, we'll see. I'm using like a lightning charger port, magnetic port, what the fuck, should have came prepared. And, and I'm on a time budget, four minutes already, so that means these, these little shits are done already. All right, let me get a knife real quick, cause, all right, here we go. We got this kind of time. We're gonna give you a quick rundown. I'm not gonna do like a fucking showcase or anything like that of how to make this shit. If you want to, you know, know, I guess look it up. It's just uh, an unboxing video. Just cause, my neck. That's what I do. Unboxing videos. Lamest thing on the internet. Trust me. Don't know how to open boxes, anyways. So I'm not, I'm not even good at that. <laughs> Imagine that. All right. So what the hell is this one? Why is this one so big compared to the other two? Pico Presso. This is the most expensive one. This one was like $150. And it comes in like some type of fucking Apple-esque shit with the little 
sil uh, what do you call this? Tissue tissue paper. And the guy's got the tattoo going. So this is a LARP. There goes all my stop. Alright, uh it doesn't matter. It's bacon and sausage. I mean, can it overcook really? Maybe the bacon. So this is in the order that they came from. The mini presso, which has no bars of uh PSI or anything like that. Bars of gravity, I believe. You just kind of... Let's open it up. Fuck it. So this is more like a camping device. Or if you're traveling and you just want like a really good cup of espresso, which... Like, I, I mean, I've had espresso in the past. It, it was never good. It's always just tastes like very concentrated burnt cigarette water. Um, but whatever. So it comes in a little bag. This one's kind of cool though. I've seen this on Tyler Tube. So you get your little cup. That's where you serve the espresso. And this is all plastic, by the way, which is kind of, um, you know, I'm not a fan of that, but whatever. Uh, you got your little, your little brush to like brush away the grounds. Uh, you got your measuring cup. That's for the espresso. So you got to grindly, finely grind this, not grindly find this. Uh, finely grind this. Uh, this is definitely the cup. So then what you do is basically, you unscrew this shit, and it's got like a little thing, and like a little screen, so you like pack in some espresso grounds. Lord. Pack in your espresso grounds in here. Uh, I believe you use this to press it in. So you press the espresso, fucking the shit out of it. Uh, then you, Put it here, I guess, like that. And then, I don't know what you do. I should have researched this. Do I pull this on? No, I don't think I pulled that on. Oh, I think you put it here. No? I don't know. Yeah, you probably put it there. And then you, Lord, I don't know how to use this machine. Uh, this is embarrassing. No, no, no. I was right the first time. So you put it there. You got your packed grounds in here, then you screw this in all crazy, right? And then you like click this or something, rotate it, there you go. And then you, I guess, what do you do here? Pump it? That doesn't make sense. You pump it anyway, right? I'm assuming. And then it like pumps the espresso out somehow. I'm lost. I'm totally lost, but the point is, I don't know why, why would it, let me see, pump it a bunch of times, like, and it pumps the, well, the water, oh, you gotta pour water in, oh, I got it now, I think I'm retarded, I think you pour water in here, <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous, then you pump it, and then it, uh, I don't know where it comes out of, maybe this side, yeah, yeah, okay, so you put the water in there, you invert it, and then you fucking pump your shot of espresso through here, and then you get a little shot of espresso, right? Whatever. All right, so then you, you know, clean it up and do all your shit. All right, that's the uh, micro mini presso. Then you got the nano presso, which now includes 18 bars of gravity. Same concept as that one. Now you just, you have a, a instead of just pumping it through, you actually uh, create Bars of gravity, allegedly, you know, because I, I don't believe that showed my serial number. I don't believe that this would actually uh, pump 18 bars of gravity, but you never know. So, but it's still cheaper than if you wanted to buy like a $5,000 fucking machine or whatever. So yeah, it seems like the, the shit comes out of here. I don't think this one comes with the cup. Jesus. It comes with the measuring cup and a little brush. So you do that. What the hell is blowing me up? So you uh, go ahead and undo this shit, right? You pack your uh, your coffee in there, you you press it in real hard. Ooh, this, this filter is actually a little bit better, it seems. It's all plastic though. And then you, uh, you probably do it like this, run this shit like this, tighten it up real good, fill this to the, probably a water line, I'm assuming here, with hot water, screw it in. 
and you rotate the shit and then you start pumping it into your cup, which is not included in this one, right? And you make sure you don't keep blocking it on accident, which you will. And then you just keep, you pump your fucking espresso out. Like, this is like, like, are you guys crackheads? People who drink coffee. This is your crack, your version of crack? All right. Pico Presso. Now, this one's the most expensive. Well, uh, prices, uh, I believe the mini Presso was like 50 bucks. I believe this uh, nano Presso was about 60, 70 bucks. $150. This is not meant for portability. Uh, it kind of is, I guess, but again, you don't get a little cup or whatever with it, so I guess you'll just have to pour it into wherever you feel like pouring it into. So there we go. My cocoa. Wow, this is very fancy. So you get a hard case this time around, which is pretty cool. I'll leave that there. You get a uh, some type of shit. You still get your little brush. Oh no, what the hell is that? I don't know what that is. You get a little pin thing. That we just stamp into the thing. Oh, this is a, a press, I'm assuming. You press into the shit. And then this, it seems like this is all like stainless steel or something. So similar. Yeah, you, oh, you still get your little brush, so if you want to clean up all your shit, there you go. This goes in here. Uh, whoa. Uh, this might be your measuring cup. Yeah, it looks like a measuring cup. So you got your ground espresso. You got your stainless steel uh, filter thingy here. So you go ahead and put it in there and then press it in, I'm assuming. Right? Or use this thing here to press it. Yeah, that looks, that looks professional. Press that bitch in, and then uh, I'm guessing you put it here, and then you, you put it, what the fuck? I guess there's some type of gasket there, right? Yeah. I'm gonna figure it out one of these days. <laughs> what the hell? And then you screw this shit in real tight, and then uh, I'm guessing you probably fill this with water, and then once you got the hot water in there, you, you seal it up, you, Rotate this shit, and it's the same thing as the other ones. Uh, but you're, you're, uh, oh no, come. What am I doing here? Maybe, maybe. Hold on. Oh, that makes sense. This is just for portability, I'm guessing. This is the real ring that you slip on. Coco. And then you just the other way. Is this even a this is why I don't buy shit. I don't know. I don't know if you need that. Alright, well it looks like I don't care. This is the way I've seen it in the commercials or whatever commercials. The coffee comes out of there. This one actually has what's known as the crema, which I guess when you brew espresso properly with 18 bars of pressure, you get some type of cream that comes out. So you get the espresso and then you get like a little head. If I wanted this much head, I'd be in Vegas, you know. But, and then you, you pump it and then you get your little coffee going. That's that, man. I don't know, man. My, my, uh, bacon shots or whatever ready so thank you for watching and uh, I got a bunch of coffee shit now now I'm a coffee guy I'm one of those guys right I think for this month anyways September maybe on into winter once summer time comes I don't, I don't drink coffee anymore so it's only as it gets into like less daylight you know what I mean that's when I am like ah oh, man I could use a pick-me-up and then I buy a bunch of literal crack coffee crack like this this coffee is so strong this shit is gonna show up on a drug test so oh i guess you do use the little thing i don't know the, the one i've seen you don't have to what i don't know that's something else what the fuck all right i gotta go thank you for watching peace out